Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. Today on my channel about Norse language and myth, I'd like to read you my original translation of the Eric poem Darradarljoth, Song of the Spear. The threads are open, meaning death and battle. It's raining blood from the crossbeam. Now a gray weave of men is here, which the sun killer's lady friends will fill in with red cloth. The weave is woven with men's guts and weighed down hard with their heads. Blood-covered spears are the rods. The beam is iron-covered and arrows shake it. We make our war weave out of swords. Hildr is weaving in Hjorthrimul. Sangrider and Svipul use drawn swords. Spear will break, shield will break, a helmet-chopping sword will ruin shields. We spin, we spin, a web of spears, which the young king had before. We'll go forward and wade into the fight where our friends exchange weapon blows. We spin, we spin, a web of spears, and then we follow the young king. Guther and Gondol, who guarded him, saw the fighter's bloody shields. We spin, we spin, a web of spears, where able fighters' flags are flying. Let us not be careless with his life. We Valkyries have the choice of the dead. Those armies from the settlements and the far peninsulas will rule these lands. I say the rich king is marked to fall. Now the ruler falls, pierced by spear points. And now the Irish will suffer miserably. That agony will never leave the Irish people. Now the weave is woven, the field is bloody. This enormous loss of life will become famous. Now it is horrible to look upon as bloody clouds cross the sky. The very sky is red with men's blood, while we battle watchers sing away. We spoke right about the young king. Many victory songs, we sing well. Let the one listening learn our spear flight song. Let him say it to others. Let us leave, ride our bareback horses hard. With drawn swords, we'll ride away. Now this specific battle is the Battle of Clontarf in Ireland between an army of Norse Vikings. So um, these are the men of the peninsulas that are mentioned, the, the armies from the settlements in the far peninsulas. And uh, they're fighting against Brian Boru, an Irish king, who fell in this battle. The battle itself, and of course the poem about it, are pretty tangential to the subject of Njal's saga. But I find that the imagery of Valkyries weaving uh, with weapons and, 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 and guts is quite compelling. So I thought that it was worth sharing. I wonder what these buffalo will think of hearing it in Old Norse with reconstructed Old Norse pronunciation. They're probably uh, sticklers from the modern Icelandic pronunciation. Vít er orpit fyrir valfalli, rips reyðiski, regnir blóði. Nú er fyrir geirum gror upkomin, vefr verðjóðar er þar vinnur fylla. Rauðum vefti, randve spana. Sjá er orpin vefr, yta thormum, og hard kleadr hofðum mana. Er droir rekin dorrat skottum, jorn varðr illir, en orum hræladr. Skulum slo sverðum, sigr vef þenna. Gengr hildr vefa, og hjórþriml, sann gríðr. Svipul sverðum tognum, skaft mun gnesta, skjöldur mun bresta, mun hjólmgagar í hlýf koma. Vindum vindum vef darradar, þann er ungur kongur ótti fyrri. Fram skulum ganga og í fólk vaða, þar er vinnir vorir vopnum skipta. Vindum vindum vef darradar, og siklingi síðan fylgjum, 
Tarsio Prakna, Blod Garandir, Gunnar och Gondl, er Grammi Hlivdu. Vindum, vindum, vev darradar, thar er vevada vigra manna, lotum egi liv hans farask, egu valkyrjur, vals um kosti. Þeir munu lýðir, londum róða, er útskaga óður um byggdu, kveðek rikum gram róðin dauða, lú er fyrir ótum, Jarl maður hnýgin. Og munu írar angr um býða, þatt er aldrei mun utum fyrnask. Nú er mefra ofin, en voldar ráðin, munu um lond fara, lásbjöl gota. Nú er ógurlegt um að lítask, er drögrög sky, dregur með himni. Mun loft littat lýða blóði, er sókin varðar, syngja kunnu. Velkvóðum vér, um konum ungan, sikr hljóða fjöld, syngjum hillar. En hinn nemi er hóra á, gér fljóða hljóð, og gumum segi. Ríðum hestum hart út berum. Brugt num sferðu og brugt hefðan. And the various random names, by the way, that are mentioned in this poem, uh, like uh, Gondol and uh, Guther and such, most of those are known Valkyrie names from other sources like uh, Grim, Nismal, and Voluspal in the Poetic Edda. For more about all aspects of Norse language and myth, I hope you'll check out my more than 270 other videos on this channel. I've also translated the Poetic Edda and the Saga of the Volsungs, both of which are now available as audiobooks. For now, from beautiful Wyoming, let me wish you all the best.